In 2021, a total of $407 billion worth of leather was sold all around the world. There's no doubt, designers, brands, and consumers love leather. They love its strength, softness, beauty, and versatility. Although these qualities are loved throughout the world, the leather industry is one of the most environmentally harmful industries out there. Leather comes from animal skin, most commonly from cattle. This means we need to raise and slaughter a lot of animals to fulfill the demand. The problem with leather is linked directly to the number of animals we're raising. Raising animals for leather requires massive amounts of water, feed, pasture land, and non renewable fossil fuels. Factory farmed animals produce more than 130 times as much excrement as the entire human population. And they do not get the benefits of waste treatment plants. Deforestation for more land to produce feed, carbon, and methane emissions are also the leading contributors to climate change. So, to join this ongoing battle against climate change, the fashion industry is working to find substitute materials to replace unsustainable leather. But for the material to successfully convince all stakeholders in the value chain, it needs to have the durability of leather. And it must retain the sentiments and values of how leather is perceived. Confidence, creativity, and self expression. So, how can we find or create something that mimics the qualities of leather that both designers and consumers adore? Well, there's a perfect replacement for leather already out there mushrooms. When you look at a mushroom, you are actually seeing the fruit of a much larger fungus. In the ground under the mushroom, there are thousands of fungal strands called mycelium. All in all, there are trillions of this mycelium all around the world. Think of them as the root structure of a mushroom. The mycelium acts like a highway for all trees and plants' life to share nutrients and information. And now, researchers have found ways to grow mycelium in a controlled environment and turn it into the perfect leather alternative. Because mycelium is found in nature, it is an infinitely renewable resource that is also sustainable. The leather made from mycelium does not require any additional harmful chemicals that are required to prepare animal leather, like mineral salts, coal tar derivatives, PU, and PVC. There is no animal waste, and no animals are killed. And best of all, it is difficult to tell the difference between mycelium leather and animal leather. When researchers grow mycelium and mushrooms, it takes about one square meter of land to grow one kilogram of mushrooms, compared to 97 square meters of land to produce one kilogram of cattle. And mycelium fabric uses less than one tenth of the water. On top of that, Mycelium leather can be grown in high density vertical farms, all while using 100% renewable energy. When we put the collagen structure of leather under a microscope, this is what we see. This structure is what makes leather so strong. The natural structure of a cattle's skin is interwoven, its three dimensional network of fibers is all jumbled up organically. This allows tension to be held in multi directions when leather is stressed. Compared to popular human woven materials like cotton and denim, they form a uniform crisscross pattern, and tension can only be held in two directions. This, on the other hand, is what mycelium looks like under a microscope. Its structure is extremely similar to leather with its multi directional build. But unlike leather, Mycelium fabric is also breathable, flexible, and robust. Researchers from mycelium leather companies like Bolt Threads, MycoWorks, and Mycotech are learning how to take advantage of the sustainable nature and resilient structure of mycelium. And they have found ways to grow mycelium at scale indoors, using organic sawdust waste from wood mills as food for the fungi. Thus, the waste of the wood mills gets turned into something useful, and as one can imagine, it is an extremely cost effective way of acquiring raw materials. As the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. 
First, the sawdust goes under a deep clean with steam. This is to remove any kind of bacteria that could contaminate the mycelium. The cleaned sawdust is then mixed with grain spawn, which is colonized by mycelium already with the help of spores from matured mushrooms. With the help of a controlled environment indoors, mycelium growers can tweak the temperature and humidity. This will optimize for mycelium strands to grow, which can be harvested within a few days. Companies monitor closely the quality of their output, even testing samples to their breaking point. Forward thinking companies like Stella McCartney, Lululemon, Kering, and Adidas are collaborating to spread the word about mycelium leather and to create new products around the world. In 2021, French luxury brand Hermes partnered with Myco Works to make the first product out of mycelium leather. The handbag, named Sylvania, looks and acts like the original Victoria style bag. The mycelium leather for the Sylvania is produced in the Myco Works facility. It is then tanned, shaped, and finished in France by the Hermes craftsmen to further refine its strength and durability. Adidas, on the other hand, also has a long term goal of creating a renewable future. One where products are made using materials developed from natural ingredients, or with cells and proteins in a lab, so they can ultimately return to nature. Their mission is to move away from the use of finite, fossil fuel based resources that deplete the planet. Renewability was the goal behind their popular Stan Smith shoe. Which is made using Bolt Thread's mycelium based material. This is a major step forward in their bold ambition of creating footwear products that are truly made with nature. The price of mycelium leather at the end of 2022 was about $30 per square foot, which is about the same price as premium calf leather. With increased scale, that cost will drop significantly, but it won't come easily. Companies will need to redesign and re engineer how manufacturing is done for this completely new material category. And ensuring adequate supply is one of the key variables to mass market adoption. Although mycelium leather is not yet a mass market material, the Hermes handbag and the Adidas Stan Smith shoe are proof that the future of fashion can be used with sustainable materials. As a planet, we must learn to work with nature rather than against it, and put effort into finding innovative solutions that are created responsibly with resources that renew at a sustainable pace. This is just the first step to replacing all the harmful and non sustainable materials in your closet, and to creating an animal free fashion industry. If you've liked this video, please hit the like button. And for more fun facts about mycelium and mushrooms, subscribe to our channel and visit mushroomsite.com.